Hey everyone, welcome to match one of three of Sultai Snow. This match we're playing against Boggles. Deck tech was posted this morning, so make sure to check that out if you want to learn more about this deck. Not sure what order these matches are going to be going up in. Don't know if this is one or three or number two. So stay tuned if it's uh, just the first. Opening hand is fine. Kind of light on threats, but we do have two cantrips, well, three cantrips in the opener, plus Ice Fan Coatle. So we're going to be drawing quite a few cards in the first couple of turns. What I like about Mana Leak is that turn two, I can play my Overgrown Tomb and just kind of leave it open. And if I need to Mana Leak something, I can. And if my opponent doesn't play anything that's worth Mana Leaking, well, I can play Ice Fang. So we're playing Boggles here. Uh, let Rancor go. I'm not, I'm not afraid of Rancor. I'm more afraid of Daybreak Coronet. Because Daybreak Coronet really... Or, or Ethereal Armor. <laughs> so there you go. Those, those two are the two enchantments that really make Boggles a deck. Uh, in my opinion. At least in modern. So those are the two that I'm looking out for. So force on top, bobble on bottom. Can't do anything here, unfortunately. So Fatal Push, definitely a card that's going to be going away after game one. Having two in the opener is just kind of brutal here. But Force Negation is nice. We're going to be able to protect ourselves from Daybreak Coronet, for example, if that comes down. It won't, which is fine by me. The main reason I want to get rid of Spider Umbra here is because it's Totem Armor, so if the creature would be destroyed, it would be protected. Basically, it would get one chance at survival, or an extra chance at survival. Um, the main reason why I'm targeting it, targeting it. And here I'll take care of Core Spirit Dancer. really struggling here. I, I, I do want to have Ice Fan Coatle come out as Death Touch and I don't want my opponent to know that I have it until I do have Death Touch active. Because it's my one of the few ways I can actually kill Boggles or any other creature that has Hexproof. So here, I just show my hand. I, I let my opponent know I have Ice Fang. Assassin's Trophy and Mana Leak pretty much guarantee that my opponent won't resolve anything or won't keep anything that I'm too afraid of this coming turn. But I think the way this looks right now, it's pretty much game over. <clears throat> Chump block here. But I think it's just too much damage. There's going to be Rancor damage coming down. Uh, trample damage, I should say. What's interesting is that my our, the opponent decided to make that trade anyway. A little weird. I guess they were just confident because they had so many. They have so many hexproof creatures, which I, I understand. This is going to make... Yeah, it's going to make it difficult to win here. There we go. 
Pretty sure it's over though. I'm just holding out, obviously. Yeah, it's game. Basically, any spell that they cast, it's, it's over. Or any pump spell that they cast in the enchantment. Really letting get down to the finisher, but I mean, in re you know, realistically speaking, it's it's over. Can't even fetch, so well, let's see what our opponent gets here. They have three cards in hand. Yeah, there we go. All right, stay of execution. That was useful. Can't do anything here. Sand and Spirit is actually not bad. Can start leveling it up. But again, I'm at one, so... Not really looking good. I do have a 5-5, five five, though. Thing is, my opponent is also now building up on land, so Mana Leak is becoming pretty useless here. Inquisition of Kozilek is uh, actually not bad. Two lands, that's rough. Should have used my Overgrown Tomb for that Inquisition, by the way. This was a mistake. I could have leveled up my Ascendant Spirit, but... Okay. Of course, this is where I got greedy. I should not have attacked in. Actually, I should have attacked my Ascendant Spirit, so... I deserved it. This was just basically a misplay. I decided to die by my fetch instead. I could have kept that going. Um, bit of an embarrassing play, honestly. It's usually not the type of plays that I make. Um, but I do try and show you that I am capable of making human-like errors. I'm not some robot. Um, but if I had played that a bit more intelligently, I could have attacked him with Ascendant Spirit. They most likely would have not blocked because they don't want to lose their creature. And I would have kept my uh, Abominable Tree Folk. And, uh, things would have been definitely different. But it is what it is. We go on to game two. Leyline of Sanctity is not bad. It'll stop Inquisition of Kozilek. I understand, but we're only running three. <laughs> I mean, good on our opponent. Yeah, I'm just telling them I, I kept this hand purely because of that turn one Inquisition of Kozilek. And now... Now we got nothing. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get through it. Our opponent has no turn one play, which is fine by me. Our opponent is... <laughs> at least our opponent is being... Uh, uh, um, Honest, saying they kept that hand because of Leyline. <laughs> Which actually is good news for us, because again, Leyline is not really the worst thing that we have to deal with here. So we're just going to wait. We do have Force of Negation mana now. So if they play anything that we don't want to see, we can counter it without pitching a spell. Yeah, we're going to let that through. We really want to target his Daybreak. Or Ethereal Armor. Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to take one on the chin here. Looks like I'm going to use Assassin's Trophy and get rid of one of those Rancors. Something else I could have done is use the Assassin's Trophy on the Ley Line. Which is what I'm doing here. Could have probably done that earlier and played the Inquisition earlier. 
but I mean, ideally, I'm using Assassin's Trophy to get rid of enchantments, not... I mean, I mean enchantments that are attached to a creature, <laughs> not Leyline. But it is what it is. Engineered Explosives is actually fantastic. This is brutal. Yeah, this is brutal. Yeah, watch this. So we'll do an Inquisition first. See what our opponent has in store for us. Daybreak Coronet it is. Obviously. Okay, I got rid of Manatide instead. So the idea there is, you know, yeah, Daybreak Coronet. I'm not really worried because it's going to be invalidated. Now, I'm not sure why my opponent cast Daybreak Coronet um, when they knew what I was going to do. I mean, if it was up to me, I would have just, you know, attacked in, baited the Engineer Explosive, which I obviously was going to crack, and then, you know, kept the Daybreak for another time. But, okay. So I'm going to play my big uh, Elder here. Speed things up a bit. So yeah, I think actually Mana Tithe made a lot more sense, given the fact that we were going to take out all their creatures. So Path of Exile takes care of my Elder, unfortunately. I'm very sad. But it's okay, we got a backup. And now our opponent's kind of out of gas, so this is all good news for us. Still going to be an uphill battle for... Okay, our opponent decides to give up. Looks like... They just didn't want to play that out. I guess I understand. I mean, if you're not going to get any creatures and proper enchantments, it's pretty much game over. Something I probably should have done game one, but I kept going till the end. And misplayed anyway. But yeah, here we go. Game three it is. This is actually a pretty good hand. We keep Engineer Explosives until the opportune moment. They play another Ley Line, but that's not really our concern. Turn one ascendant spirit. Ouch. Alright, turn one mana tithe. Alright. Well, that's a thing, but we'll get our revenge. I'm not too worried. Good. Step on one land. Alright, well. We do want land. We also want ascendant spirit. So let's just wait. Let's wait that out. Oh, they got nothing. Kept another greedy hand. That's fine by us. Yeah, I know all too well about Mana Screw. There we go. They got their green. Things with bo the thing with Boggles is that it can be very explosive once it does start. So, you know, it can become really problematic. So let's attack in here. They're almost certainly not going to block. Path to Exile. Probably going to fight. Actually, no, actually, let's see if I fight for it. I'm actually curious. Okay, I do fight for it. Alright. Again, I'm pretty confident because of the Engineer Explosives. I know that even if they start pumping up the Slippery Boggle, I'm going to kill it. Worst case, I'll take out my Ascended Spirit, but that's okay. 
I do have two creatures as a backup, so. And I have two, en two Engineer Explosives, so even more backup there. Now I could start pumping up. I could also start playing just bigger creatures. Let's see if they block with Dried Arbor. They doubt it because they know we're just going to pump in response. Cool. Got my free one damage. Let's play Elder. Really interesting. Okay. Maybe I was baiting a path to exile. It's probably my thinking. They're going to have to make that boggle way bigger if it wants to survive. Oh, alright. Our opponent gives up. Okay, so... Interesting match. Interesting match against Boggle. So game one, I feel like I was going to lose inevitably, but I did kind of punt at the end. I shouldn't have had that last sequence there. I think we could have gone a bit longer, and actually, you never know. I've, I've won in worse situations, but it is what it is. Game two... Um, you know, we <laughs> kind of got caught off guard with the ley line, although I guess maybe I should have seen that coming. Um, but we still managed to break through. And game three, our opponent did get mana screwed a bit at the end. Uh, sorry, at the bit at the beginning. But they, you know, picked up, but they just didn't have the enchantments that they needed. And we had the responses anyway. So even if they managed to build a really big boggles or boggles, um, you know, we had engineer explosives times two. We would have taken them out pretty easily. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy of the way that went. I would have liked to see it go through a bit more. You know, unfortunately, our opponent gave up a bit early in, that la in game three, but it is what it is. We still got it. We got the win. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and how this match went. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content in general, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, share my content on social media, watch my content start to finish. Really, all that stuff really goes a long way in promoting the channel, so I really thank you for doing that. If you want to go a bit further and support me on Patreon, check out the Patreon link in the description of this video as well. Check out the Patreon rewards, rewards that you're guaranteed to get at the end of every year for being a patron and supporting me. So thanks, and have a good one.